This is where to find the buyer presentation in eEdge that already exists for you. You are able to download it and tweak it, add stuff to it, take stuff away, manipulate what is already in there. It's very cool, but you do not need to reinvent the wheel. You're going to log in to mykw.kw.com. In the eEdge control panel, you can do the little plus sign by My Marketing and go to Create Marketing Materials. This is going to bring you into the library. It has flyers, listing and buyer presentations, a whole bunch of other stuff. You'll click the little arrow to the left of listing and buyer presentations. You can see there is a pre-listing presentation, a listing presentation, and a buyer consultation that are already available to you. If you have a pro account, there's more materials, but there's more than enough in the free version. You can see there's already two branded ones. One, if you're on a team, it'll use the verbiage of we and team, and another one for individual agents. If you click it on, it's going to let you preview it, or you want to choose create slash edit to make a template for yourself to take on your buyer presentations. You're going to get some tips so you can kind of scroll through them if you want to know some shortcuts or you can start to edit. You can change the logo, you can rename this, you want to make sure that your information um, populates as you want it to, your phone, your email, your website, all that stuff, your client's name is added. Over here you can jump to the different pages. So you are able to really manipulate most of the data that's in here. You can delete it entirely. You can add a new text box, add your own data, add your verbiage, take this page out, add more data to it. It's really all what you feel comfortable presenting, what sounds most like you, and you may need to tailor it from client to client, but you can at least get one that is your templated version, not a general KW one. If you have um, a team logo that you wanna add, and there is a lot of, of great stuff that you can do in here, right in the system. Once you have it tweaked how you would like it, you can go over to the Save button and Save As. I usually do the little asterisk and my initials and then I rename um, what it is and it will save. And then you can choose if you want to do additional edits or um, exit the editor entirely if you're complete. 